I, I friggin' love it. He's barely a kid. You know, he's like a little adult, but I do have a five-year-old. Okay, say, this is Cruz. Say, say Dexter, and then Dexter. you're gonna toss one treat. Dexter, Dexter. And toss a treat. Dexter. Perfect. Uh, oh, he doesn't know. Do we have any chicken? It's okay, we'll, we'll keep doing it. Did he eat it? Oh, buddy. Okay, um, shorten that leash. Okay, and toss a treat. Dexter. Okay, he doesn't care. Um, here, let me see. You're okay, Dexter. You're a good boy. Dexter's our good boy. There's our first growl. God. You're okay. You're okay. Yes, that's the treats, Dexter. Do you think he would eat anything? Chicken? Probably not. Right now. Okay. Today is going to be like desensitization day. It's going to be like, like finding the line of overstimulated five dogs up there, one dog in here. We're gonna bring three kids in here. He ain't gonna eat a treat from any of them. But if he's just seeing this stuff, you can have a bit. For a dog that lives, and I don't say this, what is it, pejoratively, meanly, badly. For a dog that lives in a motor home, like we need this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I go to houses, big rich people's houses in Rancho Santa Fe. They have this giant property. And I go, you gotta walk your dog. And they're kind of like, dude, look at my freaking yard, like in this <laughs> pool. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. It's still just this area. It is unstimulating, it is boring. No matter the dog's freaking out with people coming over, it's the most exciting thing they have going on. Is it nice to have a big yard? Yes, it's still not big enough. That's like they need right. newness. They have to have it. Good job, Koei. You can come in, Bryn. You guys are seeing the whole family. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah, so we're just gonna desensitize. We got the dogs, we got the kids, we got everything. Thank you guys for your help. Seeing them, Brindley, will you walk around? She needs to see, like, like everything. Can I try to toss? Sure. Dexter, Dexter. Toss it. Dexter. There is some value in like, oh good, stay there, Bryn. Good, she, like, you're actually good. What? Yeah, yeah, there's some value in like, oh, the kid offered me a treat at least. Only nice kids offer me treats. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna take the leash. Okay. Okay, this is kid stuff. So you just have to be extra aware. There can never be a point where if Dexter were to do something, he could get to the kid. I don't think he is. You just can't mess. We just can't mess around ever with kids. But there's a different thing when I have the leash. He's already tripped out by me, so therefore he's better with the kids. When he's more comfortable with you, then he might be worse with the kids, which we don't want to see, but we could see. Okay. And just come right here. All right, mom has the leash. Okay, and just hang for a minute. Like this is desensitization day because what else are we can do? If we can't, you know, he's just, we're making the most of, what? You're not cooperating at all. He's not being bad, that's for sure. No. Yeah, however you want to look at it. I wish we could have brought my sister's family with us. <laughs> oh, that's good. Hey guys, we are on it now. Okay, nobody pet this dog. You guys know that, right? This is great. This is great. Okay, keep grabbing them and giving them to everybody. Definitely family business. <laughs> Kids, I need you. <laughs> I don't think you guys know how big this is. Because the amount of reinforcement he's getting right now will have a giant impression on his brain. It's so many damn hot dogs. And he's like, <laughs> the freaking, the kid. After this day, he's going to say, Kids are tr hot dog delivery systems. I like kids. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I love the fact that we're just overdoing it. Uh, and he, you know, good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is add, start, now that he's eating treats, we're gonna add to the stimulus, okay? 
Okay, so Cruz, you're gonna get up and you're gonna run to the fence. Run. Yeah. Ready? No more hand feeding. Run. And you're gonna run back and sit down. Run back and sit down. Now treat. I love it. You know what just happened? You saw him, right? Yeah. He just very yeah, minor, but very he was minor. like, Ugh. Yeah. and then yeah. and then a treat happened, and yeah. he's like, hey, in the future he'll be like, hey, run again, kid, because <laughs> it's followed by a treat. Yeah. Um, that was cool. Yeah, but we actually have to keep doing that with a treat in your hand. So right when you sit down, I want you to treat him, Cruz. Okay. Run. Run back. And sit and treat. Okay, Cohen, take two treats in your hand. I don't want you to hand feed them though, I want you to. Um, okay, you're gonna run, sit down, toss treats. Yep, run. Sit, toss. Perfect, oh my gosh. Are you okay with him yeah. Even doing a little bit yeah. more hot dogs. That, he yeah. might get a little wet stool. No, that's fine. We won't have to feed him that's later. That's why. We won't have to feed him later. Because okay. you, you just can't. Now. It's just, it's huge. Yeah. Okay. How can we make this? Co Co Cohen, I want you to run to mommy, yell, sit down, and treat. Get two treats in your hand. While yelling. Or do what it... Go. Ready? Go. Yeah. Toss. Perfect. Okay. Um, I want you all three to run can, together and sit down and treat. So now it's kind of the big wall of kids running at him, followed by treats. Go. Treat. Per I, I friggin' love it. Because he's going... Oh, I don't know about them. And then he's going treat. Yeah. And then he's getting treats. And that's how you eliminate that backup. He was a little bit alarmed when they yep. came in. Hence the wall of kid. Uh -huh. That is, that's why I did it. And then followed by treats, you guys. We that just bought true. ourself. And he's eating them. And he's, yeah. We he just bought ourselves an insurance policy, if nothing less. You just bought yourself a, that one kid who comes up and does it horribly. There's, if he were to bite before that, which who knows if he would, uh, we bought ourselves a pretty good insurance policy against the bite with this today. Be careful with your faces, guys. Okay, what, Liz, what other stimulus can we add? We have yelling, we have running. I guess we could add a kid over top. Brinley. I, oh, that's true. Okay, each of you take a treat because the worst thing is biting of children. Yes. Like, so we do have to spend some time on this. Um, I want you guys to wrestle a little bit in the turf area. And then I want, when I tell you to, I want you to turn to him and feed him. No, it's all right. Kids on bike, good job, Cruz. Kids on bike and skateboards. We could do his scooter, yeah. It'll help it. But even if it's just 10, 15 minute walk, I think that's going to be a lot, especially in our neighborhood. Can I jump and run around? Yes, you, can, you guys can do whatever you want. You can run. Joel's holding him, and he's okay. Yep. And yeah, no, this is really good. What? A yeah, do a cartwheel. Oh, that was the awesome. oh, wow. oh, good job, Cruz. Checking in and giving treats. So nuttiness followed by the greatest thing in the world, which is a hot dog. We have the biking scooter up here if you want Okay. Treat. You want me to bring the scooter down here, Yeah, just Oh, sure. So I want you, I think it's important, kind of important, you guys understand. We're working on an, on a classical Pavlovian level, not an, an operant level. Mm -hmm. So technically, you shouldn't reinforce him if he backs up and gives a little growl. You're reinforcing a bad behavior. Operantly, you're reinforcing a bad behavior. Pavlovian-wise, feeling-wise, 
you are reinforcing, good job, Cruz. That's a perfect example. You should not reinforce that operantly. You should reinforce that classically, being that he, got, he went, oh my God, a scooter followed by treats. I like, hence like scooters. Okay, let's take it down a little notch, guys. We just don't want, these are the first growls we've heard, but he just has to desensitize too. And this is his classic That's indicator good. of, I thought we had a lot. Good, just like right. this. Right, it's a lot. He tends to disengage from that stuff. That's true, that's a good point. Um, he's still eating. Let's, let's ease up on the scooter. That seemed to be the thing that kind of got him tripped out and his nervous system's getting a little tripped out. There just can be no mess around. Especially kids are at face level, you know? Like right now, he's at face level. Mm -hmm. It changes lives when bites to the face happen. He has not shown he's going to, but he's not comfortable. There is a trigger that would get him to lunge. We just don't know the trigger yet. I mean, I think. Okay, okay guys, that's it. We've done enough hot dogs. Guys, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Um, all right, that's enough, that's enough. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. Everyone, we're done.